Hello, I'm Pastor Kelly Prelaid, and this morning I'm going to read you from Ecclesiastes 9, verse 11. Whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all your might. We find that sometimes we want to do things and we're not sure, is this what I need to be doing or should I be looking for something else? We must understand that God opens doors that no man can close. God closes doors that no man can open. And Jesus rose from the tomb and he arrived into this world as a resurrected eternal being. And he ascended and he's seated on the right hand side of the Father. And he makes intercession for us. And the tomb, the door is open, the tomb is empty and forever He will be interceding for us. We need not to fear. God opens doors that no man can shut, and He shuts doors that we shouldn't be looking to knock on. You have opportunities that come into your life, situations that rise, and you're not sure. If the door is open and you've sought the Lord, it's a door that He has opened for you. Go through. Be positive about it. He will not allow you to go through any door that you're not supposed to be going through. The Bible says even the gates of hell, the doors that the devil uh, keeps shut, that we cannot get into the things that are in our inheritance, the devil tries to keep them shut. We must understand the devil is a thief, a liar, a cheat. He will do everything to keep you from your inheritance. And God has opened doors and it's your inheritance. He wants you to go through, possess the land, possess your inheritance. He wants you to take it, run with it, enjoy it, be fruitful. Let your ministry grow as you go through and take out of that door what God wants you to have. Your inheritance that you have been doubtful about, the devil has been keeping it secluded and away. That door cannot stay shut. You can know that that door must open. That door must open, the Bible says. All doors are under God's control. Trust Him. He will not allow you to go through negative and bad doors. Trust Him. It opens and you got it in your hand. Whatever you find in your hand to do, do it with all your might. Do it with confidence. Do it trusting Him. As a child of God, He wants the best for you. He wants to prosper you and be, bless, be a blessing to others as well. In recent times, we were looking for a new venue in our, in our branch in Central. And in five ways, God opened a door for us. The synagogue there near five ways been standing hardly used by the Jewish community and the door opened, we went through. And we've recently now transferred our meetings and we call it Five Ways Ministry. And it's a lovely venue, lovely people there, etc. And God opened the door, He closed other doors that were not so great, but they were the only doors we were looking at. He opened a good door for us and we went through. He's looking to open doors for you too. If you open your eyes, you will see the doors looking at you, saying, come, this is God's plan. Trust Him. He wants to open doors for you. He wants to prosper you and bless you and give you favor, just like we, no longer calling ourselves Central Branch, we call ourselves Five Ways Ministry. God opened the door. He wants to open it for you too. Small things, big things. Look for His leading. He'll open and you'll be blessed. Father, I pray for all these people looking here today. Lord, that they are, many of them are not sure what tomorrow we may bring, what direction to go. Holy Spirit, won't you guide them and lead them so that they will find God the Father's doors open for us. Jesus, you're interceding for us on the right-hand side of the Father. 
Let your children go through, be prosperous, be blessed, and know the hand of God all the time in their lives. In Jesus' name, amen.